This is my brother Thomas Bolin. He plays sports, has a family, and is one of 166,000 people in the U.S. affected by spina bifida. Spina bifida is a rare neural tube defect disorder, and what happens is when the baby's in the womb, the spine doesn't fully develop. From unforgettable surgeries, I lost count after uh, like 100, and that's when I was like eighth grade. To life in a wheelchair, my brother says his life is tough. In fact, a minor surgery mistake keeps Thomas in a wheelchair full time. It's been like this for him since he was 12. I was pretty mad, but also was also young, so I didn't really you know, know what to expect, didn't know how it was gonna affect me. I went in on crutches and I left in the wheelchair. That's when it first hit me that, you know, things might be different going forward. Many surgeries later, another roadblock strikes. Doctors presented our parents with a final surgery option that could eliminate some of the pain caused by spina bifida. But with the relief came risk. Our mom reveals some of the fears that came with the decision process. My first thing that I, that came to mind was, I was going to lose them. But as Thomas tells us, the choice was obvious. I was in just so much pain, and I found out that that was one of the surgeries that could potentially cure everything. If it works, great. I'd live life, you know, you know, with no pain or no issues going forward. If it doesn't go well, I don't have to deal with pain anymore. The surgery was successful, and the pain was minimal going forward. Thomas ended up thriving in sports, winning the Lions Club Award, an award won by MLB Hall of Famer Paul Molitor and future Hall of Famer Joe Maurer. But the bigger picture is Thomas's improved quality of life. I asked him what message he wanted to tell everyone, and he replied without hesitation. Literally everything that you can do as an body person, I can do the same thing. I might just do a little bit differently, or you might have to tweak some certain things you know, here and there, but I can do it just as much as anybody else. Reporting for SPU-TV, I'm Ryan Bolton.